Hi, you guys, and happy Friday. This is Prophetess of Fear, Sabrina Acapo, and wanted to bring you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. And you guys, the title of this word is going to be wise choices, wise choices and Holy Spirit. I invite you in to take full charge and take full control over this word and speak through me as I'm delivering your word. As I decrease, I ask you to increase. I join my spirit in with the Holy Spirit. I place my hands in your hands, Holy Spirit, and I submit my will back to your will, asking you to intervene and let your will be done in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's name, these blessings I'm asking and that I do pray. Amen, 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 and amen. So you guys, wise choices. And so last yesterday morning, it was actually 2 11 a.m. And so it didn't dawn on me until just a few moments ago. I saw 2 11 again. So I know the Lord was confirming definitely for me to bring this word for today. And the scripture that he gave me in relation to this prophetic word is Proverbs 2 11. And it states, wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. So you guys, as I was stating, it was 2.11 a.m. on yesterday. And then again today, the Lord brought these numbers and scripture to surface. And it is confirming what I have been asking and praying for. And I definitely know that the Lord wanted me to bring this message to fruition on today. And I know that this message was just not for me, but this message was for others as well. And I just asked the Lord a moment ago, if there is something that I do not understand or something that I may not be aware of to enlighten me and to give me clarity. And I hear the Holy Spirit saying wise choices and decisions will cover and keep you. The Lord is saying, ask him to come into every circumstance that he is wanting to be that beacon of light that you can rely on, you can depend on, you can trust in and you can adhere to. And I hear the scripture of Jeremiah 33 and 3 to call me in. Call unto me and I will answer thee and I will show thee great and mighty things thou knowest not of. The Lord wants you to know that he is your choice supplier and that you are his choice silver. The Lord is saying trust in his report and rely on the choice of his written word because of his written Word, it is faithful, it is true, it is sharper than a double edged sword, it pierces and it cuts, and it will never return back unto him void. Just a second, you guys. I have my worship music on to get me going, you guys. But I definitely don't want it to be a distraction. And the Lord is wanting you to make choices in every aspect. So excuse that of your life. And with discretion and the Lord's direction and allowing him to orchestrate every move as he as well orders and orchestrates your steps. The steps of a good man grows brighter and brighter, allowing the Lord's laws, precepts, and statutes to be the center of the choices you make will preserve, protect, cover, shield, keep, and keep you. Proverbs 4 and 7, the beginning of wisdom is get skillful and godly wisdom. 
It is preeminent. And with all your acquiring, get understanding actively. Seek spiritual discernment. Seek wise counsel. Seek prophetic counseling. Mature comprehension and logical interpretation. Let your affirmations and confirmations be two or more. Even with a prophetic word that is being brought forth. When making choices, let there be more than one possibility. The Lord always wants you to have a solution and he's also as well want you to have a resolve to every choice that you make. Mark 9 and 23, Jesus said to him, you say to me, if you can, all things are possible for them who believes and trust in me. And the last scripture in relation to this prophetic word, a wise choice is on today is going to be James. One and five, if any of you lacks wisdom to guard him through a decision or circumstance. So allow the Lord to guard you in making that decision in circumstance. He is to ask of our benevolent God who gives to everyone generously. And without rebuke or blame, and it will be given to him. So God gives it freely. He gives it freely to everyone. To everyone. So I pray that this word a wise choices has flowed absorbed, permeated, and saturated, and that you got a precise understanding of the rhyme of words that were being presented to you today, thus saith the Spirit of the living God that the Holy Spirit wanted me to bring forth pertaining to wise choices because it's going to preserve you. It's going to protect you. It's going to shield you. It's going to cover you, and it's going to keep you Trust in the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and do not lean onto your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge the Lord, call the Lord in, and allow him to direct your path, allow him to direct your choices, allow him to direct your decisions, do it with discretion. Thus said the Spirit of the living God. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video, you guys. Because I was definitely going to go a different route. But when I saw those numbers again of 211, I know that the Lord wanted me to bring the scripture of Proverbs 211 um, into fruition on today. And it reads again, wise choices will watch over you. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. And if it's something that you don't have clarity on and don't have a clear understanding, the Lord is saying, ask of me and it will be given unto you. Seek me and you will find not on the door. And the door will be open unto you. Ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. And the door will be open unto you. Make those wise choices with discretion. And make sure if you're going to make a decision, make sure there is affirmation and confirmation, even with a prophetic word being brought forth. Make sure you get affirmation and confirmation in two or threes. To know that there's going to be a solution and that there is going to be a resolve. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And keep the comments.
the likes, the messages, the words of encouragement, the prayers. You guys, I'm appreciating it. I thank you guys very much. Welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers, you guys. I pray that this word has enlightened, this word has gave you some clarity, and this word has gave you some excitement on this fantastic Friday on today. For this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in our soul. Cries out, hallelujah. Wise choices, thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Make those wise choices to get your resolve and your solution with discretion. Because it will keep you, it will preserve you, it will protect you, it will shield you, and it will cover you. Thus said the spirit of the living God. I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And until the next one, I will definitely be back with another one. We will definitely be talking soon. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you and know that I am constantly praying for you. Until the next one, take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.